welcome to Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 2, Adobe Page Maker. Content of the session is placing or importing text. What is manual text flow? What is automatic text flow? What is threading? What is unthreading? So what is placing or importing text? You can insert text from other software program like MS Word into your page maker. So what is importing? Inserting text from other software program is called importing or placing. How to do this? File menu. From the file menu, we have to select the option place. So when we click the place option, we will get a dialog box like this. Here we have to select the file which we required to import in the page maker. So by clicking the open button, when we click on open in the place dialog box, the pointer changes to the loaded texted icon. What is the icon? Loaded texted icon. Can you see here? This is the loaded text icon. So after that, the text will get placed. If the text to be placed is too big to fit on one page, PageMaker allows you to place it on several pages. So this flow of the text can be done manually or automatically. Manual text flow is possible as well as automatic, automatically the text also flows. How to do this? See the example. Take a page maker window, new file. Now, how to do the importing? File, place option, select a file. I am selecting a file with the name of student. It is a text file. Open. Can you see the mouse pointer? It is in the loaded text icon. Click. Can you see a red handle here? It shows that there is a continuation. But there is no page. Here only one page is available. So how to add another page? Two methods. One is right click on the page number one. Add two pages or insert any number of pages you want. I am clicking add to page. So page number 2 and 3 are added. Now go to the first page. Click on the text. Click on the red handle. Click. Go to the second page. Click on the top. Still there is a continuation. Click. Again click here. Still there is a continuation. But here there is no pages. So I can use right click insert pages so instead of two page i am giving 10 page insert so after three 10 pages are inserted so it is up to 13 now go to the third page click the last one click on the red handle click go to the fourth page still there is a continuation click Again continuation, left click, next page, click on the top, still continuation, click on the red handle, click again, it's a big doc document I think, still there is a continuation. So manually I am added the page, I am making the text to flow from one page to next page manually clicking on the right handle going to the another page click now there is no red color here there is a plus symbol that means there is a continuation on the top here there is nothing it shows that there is no continuation so nearly it has taken 12 pages this is said to be manual text flow manually we have selected the text clicked on the red handle and moved to the next page and we inserted the page manually. We can insert the page through layout 
insert page same dialog box will appear we can give the total number of pages we need and click insert is it clear children so you learned how to import and how to move manually red handle click and go to the next page and click next method is automatic text flow before importing the text first select the auto layout auto flow then import now the uh, icon of the mouse is different shall we do this file new document okay layout auto flow there is a tick now is it clear so we selected auto flow now file place same document student i am selecting open can you see the icon has changed click here here yeah, there is only one page click so it added all the required number of pages so it has taken up to 12 what we did manually is done automatic automatically using the auto flow option so you learnt three things how to import what is manual text flow and what is auto text flow so next one is understanding the story i'll tell later first we'll finish this threading text blocks a text block can be connected to other text block so that text in one text block can flow into another text block text blocks that are connected in this way are threaded the process of connecting text among text blocks is called threading text the text that flows through one or more threaded blocks is called a story is it clear we'll i'll explain with the example i'm taking a new page same file place i'm taking another document open click here so can you see your content okay fine now it shows that there is a continuation am i right so the continuation text uh, text block with the continuation is a threaded text click so the same text now when how many blocks three blocks am i right first text can you see a plus symbol it shows that there is a link in the bottom here there is a link on the top on the bottom also here on the top not in the bottom now i am selecting this text and giving a color just uh, just i am doing this to explain you so the first block is in red color second is in blue and next one is in black okay all the three are linked there is a link between the three blocks so if we want to join means you can easily join it can you see both the text are joined so i'm again joining with the first one yes now all the three are joined is it clear now same thing again i am splitting so how many blocks are here again three blocks okay now this text center text is having plus and plus okay there is a link on the top there is a link on the bottom the text which are connected are called threading
the process of connecting text among text blocks is called threading text so you learned the text that flows through one or more threaded blocks is called a story okay you learned what is threading connecting the text block what is a story text that flows through one or more threaded blocks is called a story okay then what is threaded text blocks that are connected in this way that is a text block with the connection link is said to be threaded text clear now plus on the top plus on the bottom okay this is the threaded text how to make it unthread how to do it means two method one is cut copy we can do this by selecting the menu or shortcut that is unthreading first select okay edit cut i am keeping the pointer here then edit paste it is pasted but when it is pasted can you see there is no plus on the top plus on the bottom it is unthreaded the link is taken away this first text and the third text are linked now it is linked it can also be linked so the story is changed without the third part you understand the concept so one particular text is taken away from the link that is unthreaded so what is unthreading what is unthreading means unthread text is where a text block is stand alone without being connected to any other block these blocks have nothing on their top and bottom handle it will be like this so can you see a simple yes now how we did this unthreading using the method of edit cut and edit paste here also another method unthread the uh, these uh, then choose the text tool and select all the text in the block then click the text edit so we can simply select the block and cut paste and even we can select the text and cut paste if we cut and paste a particular text then it will be unthreaded is it clear okay now come to the point what the story a page maker story is similar to a newspaper article the front page of a newspaper may contain several independent articles some of which continue on other page i hope you have seen this in the first page if we read any uh, any content at the line after four line or six lines there will be a um, content of continuation in page number 4 then we will turn the page to the page number of 4 then we'll read the continuation of that particular article so this can be done using page maker here they want to say it as understanding of story story is linked text the linked text can be pasted in one page and another page i'll explain with the example um I'll select this content just for example take a new file okay i'm selecting a box paste now so this is the content okay let me get a small whole text in blue color okay. 
ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ದೆನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಣದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಕಲರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ರೆಡ್ ಕಲರ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ರೈಟ್ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಪೇಜಸ್ ಐಲ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪೇಜಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ದ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸೊ ದ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯೇಷನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಪೇಜ್ same thing the first page continuation of the red text click here and go to the fifth page so like in a newspaper page maker also able to do the story first page there is a content the continuation is in the fourth and fifth page like the newspaper we can design in the page maker this concept is said to be understanding the story several stories may appear on the same publication page and continue elsewhere in the publication i hope children you understood the concept so we'll have a recap what we learned placing on importing text what is manual text flow what is automatic text flow what is threading what is unthreading Thank you. Have a good day.